What's good, folks? Coach Ronnie coming at you straight out of ATL, Georgia. Now, as you know, baseball season just started, so I decided to put together a video for you guys to protect your shoulder throughout the whole season. The title of this video is called Arm Strength Training for Pitchers in Season. All right, so heading over to Smart Test. Going to get it on, get this video for you guys, and make sure you watch the video to the end. Travel baseball uh, teams and coaches, Pay attention, I have something for you that could be a game changer. See you in a minute. Folks, Coach Ronnie here, and I'm excited because one, it's baseball season. And number two, you all need a program to keep that shoulder healthy. That's what we're going to discuss today. What I have lined up for you, we're going to talk about the muscles of the shoulder. We're going to talk about the different movements of the shoulder. And we're going to talk about <clears throat> the scapula. And we're going to talk about rotator cuffs. And I'm going to give you some exercises that will keep all this, that will keep that shoulder, everything you learned, that will keep it nice and healthy. All right? So we're diving right in, folks. Here we go. Muscles of the shoulder. First, we're going to discuss the rotator cuff. Multiple rotator, uh, rotator cuff muscles, right? Yeah, the teres minor. I hope you guys can see this. Teres minor, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, subscapularis. I'm going to show you pictures of all these later throughout the video, later on during the video. Now, what is the job of the rotator cuff? So you have your shoulder joint right here, right? The head of the humerus. The head of the uh, humerus. These are rotator cuffs that are protecting it, right? So your humerus, humerus should be able to do whatever movement it needs to and maintain its uh, position within the middle of the shoulder joint, correct? So that's the job. That rotator cuff is going to let you make all your, let the humerus do what it needs to do and not compromise the integrity of the shoulder joint, right? Makes sense. So what happens when you, you go from this, get a little space in there, you start getting this going around a little bit. That's when your shoulder injury start to take place, all right? Because that, that shoulder joint right here has been compromised because it's no longer, that humerus is no longer sitting in the middle of that uh, glenohumeral joint, all right? The scapula, all right? You know what the scapula is? That's your shoulder blade right back in there, your scapula. Now, movements of the scapula slash shoulder blade, slash shoulder blade. Upward rotation. Blade, upward rotation. Your you shoulder blades, so imagine it's sitting on your back right here, it needs to rotate up, right? Shoulder blade rotates up, that's what helps the shoulder get into true shoulder flexion, all right? So, the movements and the muscles involved with that are, excuse me, the muscles involved with that are, that movement are upper rotation, are the upper traps, so we know what traps are, right? Right here, traps. Lower traps, people don't know too much about that. That lower trap's a major contributor to getting that upward rotation. And then you might have heard of this one, the serratus anterior. Help is to wrap that, wrap that scapula around almost underneath your armpit. All right, so what goes up must come down, right? So now you have the downward rotators. You have your rhomboids, you have your levator scapula, and you have your pec minor, all right? Those are all the muscles that make that movement possible. And like I said, that is essential when you're doing your shoulder flexion. Now, like I said, what, must, what comes up must come down. You're coming down to that downward rotation of the scapula, right? We talked about the scaps. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the throwing motion and, and how these, these are basically all muscles on the back of your shoulder. We can call those decelerators. So going through your throwing movement, you're right about here. Now, this was when the decelerators kick in. I'm way up on y'all. Sorry about that. That's when your decelerators kick in and keep your arm from flying off your body at the end of the day. Keeps everything, keep every, keeps everything intact at the shoulder, all right? So the decelerators uh, muscles are responsible for that. Now, there was a study done uh, identifying the most active muscles during deceleration, and those muscles are here, your trapezius your serratus anterior, your rhomboid, your teres minor, your infraspinatus, your supraspinatus, and your deltoid. Those are the muscles that are really firing, firing during that deceleration phase. 
basically we covered your rotators, your scaps, and decelerators. Basically, basically the majority of these muscles on this board are covered during the deceleration process. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to show you exercises that you can use uh, dur during the end season that will help you stay healthy and protect your exercise. This is great for your external rotators and also giving that scapula that posterior tilt that it needs to help you get into that upward rotation we talked about earlier. So this is a Mike Reinhold special, by the way. If you don't know Mike, he's one of the leaders in this industry. Check him out, Mike Reinhold. I'm you have your arm strengthening program for pitchers in season so you're ready to have a healthy strong shoulder throughout your whole baseball season congrats on that now what I want to talk to you about was you travel baseball coaches you even your high school coaches and your high school players and travel ball players I have an app you can check that app out I'll leave a um, link in the description but the app with this app I can design programs for teams for a travel ball team, for a high school team. When I say programs, I mean strength training programs and conditioning programs for all positions. So if you're a high school player, travel ball player, high school coach, uh, high school player, click on the link in the description. It's going to take you to my contacts page. You can contact me, either email or just give me a call, and I can talk to you about how I can make your help your travel team get better with a nice strength and conditioning program that's all i have folks make sure you make sure you uh, like this make sure you share this and i will be in touch with the next video talk to you soon peace